What's up guys, Ricky Arnold here. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something that's long overdue. I've been using this same uh, desk setup for quite a while now, and uh, it's been in need of like a little revamp and a little bit of a, uh, you know, reorganization. Uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So I bought a couple of things, and uh, it's finally all showed up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this desk setup that I have right here, we're gonna expand it a little bit, and we're gonna clean it up a lot. Uh, and I think it's gonna be really, really, really awesome, and it's gonna help me make my videos just that much better. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. So just to give you guys kind of an idea of what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna be taking this desk right here, that's gonna stay. Uh, we're gonna actually probably clean off all of my monitors and my computer and all that stuff. And uh, we're gonna reorganize all of that. I actually bought a double monitor stand for these two. I actually really like the monitor stand that goes with my Samsung monitor there, but or my LG monitor, sorry. Uh, I actually really like that stand, but it kind of takes up a lot of space, as you can see, since I have two monitors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a dual arm stand. We're gonna clean that up a little bit, and then we're gonna expand another desk. I actually bought a second one of these desks right here. It's sitting right here against the wall right there. Yeah, huge. Um, we're gonna take a second desk and we're gonna put it on the other side over there and we're gonna make it kind of like an L shape. And then this little desk that matches them all back there, we're gonna take that, we're gonna use that as like my product desk. And I'm gonna have that probably over here or I might put it over here with all that mess of stuff that's sitting right there. So let's go ahead and unbox a bunch of this stuff and then we'll get on to building it. Okay, so now that I have this desk built, the second one, the next step is to pretty much take all of this over here apart, uh, clean it off, and then take this desk, put it next to this one, and then begin assembling the setup. All right, so everything's starting to take shape a little bit. As you can see back here, I'm gonna put those two desks together and then I'm actually able to go ahead and put these uh, J Channel Raceways that I got off Amazon behind each desk that are gonna, those are gonna be able to hide all my cables. You can stuff them all in there and just hide them behind each desk. That way we can have a really clean looking uh, desk setup with no wires uh, running behind it and like kind of getting stuck underneath the desk. So it'll clean things up quite a bit. And then uh, we're gonna be able to actually take this monitor arm that I got. I got a dual monitor arm. Then I'm gonna be able to take both my monitors and I'm gonna be able to put it right there. And again, I can wire tie everything to that monitor arm and it's gonna really clean everything up and make it look really nice. The only thing I gotta figure out what I wanna do with is my drawers right here. I don't know if you guys can see them. Those drawers right there, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them. I might put them like in between the desks right there in the, the corner piece, or I might just stick them like underneath one of the desk setups and uh, just have it in the middle. Obviously not right here, because I think my chair is gonna go right there. So maybe we'll do it over there or something. Oh, and of course we gotta run all the RGB strip around the entire thing. So, you know, that's key thing, has to happen. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's sort of kind of taking shape now. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put these two together like this and have this side over here actually be the main side where my uh, monitors are gonna go. That way I can shoot from a different direction in my, in my room now. Um, and actually get a get a better view in my opinion. So like I think I'm gonna actually take my uh, my drawers here my Ikea drawers And I'm gonna put them in between right here so I can access them. I'm gonna sit like right here and then my actual um, Monitors are gonna be right there behind me. So I think it's gonna be a lot cooler of a view It'll change things up a little bit and I'll actually get to be able to put my uh, sound dampening uh, squares right over here up above my monitors which I haven't even showed you guys yet, but I do have them and we're gonna have to find a way to mount those as well so all right, so what really needs to happen next is I gotta actually take my monitors and I gotta take them off their stands that they came with. And then I have to go ahead and put them on this monitor arm that I bought right here and uh, get them installed right here so we can actually mount this, or it's already mounted to the table, but uh, we gotta get these actually mounted on that. That way I can uh, just freely move this table around and uh, get them in place, then wire everything up. That's what's gonna take the longest, honestly. But uh, let's go ahead and get these monitors put on there and uh, we'll get moving from there. All 
right guys, so I got the panels mounted up back here. It looks pretty sweet. I got a little bit of adjusting to do to make sure that uh, they're exactly how I want them. Uh, but I actually do like it a lot. Uh, I think with the cable management options that are built into it, it's gonna look really nice. Um, it's gonna be really, really good even for my keyboard. I'm gonna be able to like run the cable probably right around here and run it right up to here, to here um, right around to my PC because I have uh, cable management in the back. So it's gonna actually like make the entire setup look really, really nice, just like I said. So I'm actually really happy with this thing. This thing was only like 30, 40 bucks on Amazon and it legitimately holds both these monitors. This one is actually is a 27 inch and it's actually really heavy. Um, it holds it no problem. I just had to tighten one of the arms and everything's good. So they're fully adjustable. You can swivel side to side, up, down, in and out. It's actually really, really awesome. So I'm really stoked on that purchase. All right guys, so you can kind of see the setup that I'm going for is kind of starting to take shape now. Uh, gonna put my PC over here, uh, monitors here obviously, and then over here, I got more room to shoot product and stuff like that. And I also have an actual table over here to do those uh, product things as well. Uh, when I'm sitting right here, I can put it in front of me and uh, shoot this way. So uh, I think I'll be really happy with this. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is actually just wire manage everything. I gotta connect every single cable. Um, and uh, I don't think you guys are gonna wanna see that entire thing on, on camera. So I'll kind of take the camera off the tripod here in a minute and I'll come back that way and underneath the tables and I'll kind of show you how I manage all my cables and how I, you know, hide everything uh, the best of my ability. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll kind of show you guys what I did when I'm done. 2,000 years later. All right, so I lied. I, uh, I jumped ahead quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, I started doing a lot more stuff than I said I was gonna do, but whatever, okay? I got carried away. So as you can see, I got the RGB going in the back. I got my uh, lamp set up, um, I got my router, I'll put it back there. Got the hot, the cables hidden. Uh, put an IKEA plant because you, you need that. That I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I got some foam panels put right there. They just are held up by thumbtacks right now. I think that's where I'm gonna put them. I'm probably gonna take six more of those and put them above my monitors. And then I may take like some artwork that I have. Like I got some art that I bought in Portland a long time ago. Um, I might take those and put it around the foam panels and kind of stagger them in some way. I think it looks pretty sweet. What do you guys think? I mean, I think it looks pretty awesome. For the most part, I got all the cables out of the way and I think it looks really clean right now. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. Um, so really I just need to hang some more um, foam and I need to put some art on the walls and then we're kind of really cooking and then I can actually, you know, get the computer on and uh, start using my setup. So uh, probably the next, Thing I'm gonna do, I'm probably just gonna hang some stuff on the walls and we'll see what happens. So to solve my problem with getting these sound panels that actually stick on the wall and not completely rip the paint off the wall when I do end up having to uh, leave this uh, apartment and uh, get these off the wall, I got some of these guys right here, these like little command strips right here. So you're actually able to take the bottom part and pull it down and it comes right off the wall and it's not supposed to rip anything off the wall. So hopefully these work. And also one thing I do suggest if you're gonna use this method that I'm doing right here with hanging with these, just make sure you take some thumbtacks and push them in the top of the, um, the foam panel. It's not gonna hurt anything. Just get it on there so it'll hang it on the wall in the spot that you want it to be at so you can get your pattern that you want. And then just stick this thing underneath it. You can lift it up, put it underneath it, hold it on the wall for like 10 seconds, and it stays. You're good to go. Alright guys, so we're looking pretty much done with the whole setup right now. It looks really awesome. I love it. Uh, I need another sip of this real quick. Ah, energy. Okay, anyway, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys a little bit of the cable management that I did. Um, I did kind of a quick and easy type cable management, uh, kind of down and dirty, but gets the job done. See this stuff right here? I kind of had to just wire tie these cables best I could with these little cable straps that I got from Amazon a long time ago. I have a ton of them, so it was super easy. I just kind of did that to keep the cables together and uh, get my keyboard and my mouse cable to stay on my monitor arm where all the rest of my cables are ran. 
Um, so that's kind of the, what I'm dealing with right now because I use, you know, wired peripherals. Um, of course, I like just got that, this right here, the Corsair Iron Claw RGB. Uh, and then like a month later, they came out with the freaking wireless version of it. So uh, yeah, maybe in the future, I might have to get that just to clean this up, but whatever. For right now, I actually love that mouse. So there's no reason to buy a new one. Uh, PCs over there, obviously. Uh, sound dampening panels there, there, looks awesome. I did a little thing with my shelf up here. Uh, put my uh, boxes to my A6500 and then my A7 III right there. That's actually my A6000 with the two first lenses that I ever bought. Uh, the 50 and the, uh, what is that? The freaking 55 to 200, I think it is. Uh, never really use those anymore. So I just decided to put it on the shelf unless I actually need to use it. And then uh, of course the, uh, the three Ryzen processors that I've done builds with, uh, I got the three, five and the seven up there. So I thought that was pretty cool to put up there. Um, the walls behind right here, other than the sand opening panels are kind of bare. Obviously I see that, uh, I may end up adding some stuff there, but for but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I don't really have anything I wanna put there other than maybe I might get another one of these guys and then put it over here just to add some more light in the background. Or I may just get a uh, like a light and set it up here uh, and just cast some light over there. That way there's you know two two lights going at the same time against the sound the, the panels so it'll actually like light it up and look really cool. Um, I took my little board right here that my girlfriend got me for uh, my birthday, which is super, super cool. You guys see that? Uh, it holds all your coins, your military coins that you get. Um, and then she stuck my dog tags right there too, so it looks really cool. Um, Air Force Pride and all that cool stuff. Uh, it's fully made out of wood. Some guy custom made it. Really, really awesome, love it. Um, and then of course the drill's just sitting up there. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do with this shelf yet, so we'll figure that out later. But another really cool thing I wanted to show you guys is this little mini table that I got. Um, that's just basically the same as those. It's the Linman from Ikea. Um, I took it and put the little mini table over here and now I can use this as like my battery charging station Which you see over here. I have a ton all my batteries right there like my my drone batteries all of my uh, Camera batteries can be charged here. Uh, I can throw my filters my lenses there whenever I don't, I'm not using them There's my gimbal and stuff and an extra monitor uh, I can throw all my stuff and then all my uh, camera shooting gear I just stick it underneath there because I got a wedding tomorrow So I'm loading all my gear up so I can easily do that get it all tucked away and it's out of my way and uh, as you can see right here, it opens up a ton more space in my studio, um, which I think is super, super awesome. It cleans the room up so much. Um, again, the walls behind my computer, I think I could maybe put some stuff on the sides of those um, sound dampening panels. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, I don't really know what I wanna do with it right now, but I think it just looks super clean as it is right now, so I don't really wanna mess with it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get under the table real quick, and I'll show you guys the cable management that I did. So now you guys can definitely see this. All right, so see, I got those J can uh, I got those J channel raceways running underneath the desk, and all of the cables are tucked neatly into that thing as best as I possibly could get them. Um, and then there's the uh, the hook for my uh, monitor arm right there. And uh, yeah, I, I was I was able to use that adhesive and stick that. Uh, that's the actual back or the power supply to my LG monitor. Stuck that to the back of this guy. It's the Ikea, I believe it's called the Alex, the um, drawer set that I got. Um, and then I was able to just kind of like dirty throw all of my wires behind this thing and tuck them away. And uh, you can't even see them from the other side of the desk. So super easy. Um, if you get these J-Camp channel raceways, they'll make your life super, super easy when you do ch uh, cable management. The only thing that makes me cringe about this whole setup is uh, what you're seeing right here. That. Uh, I wasn't even going to show you that that to you guys because uh, you won't even see it in my videos but I uh, uh, just thought it was worth noting sometimes no matter how well you cable manage it just doesn't work because of the, the way the outlets run in your house so like I ran that's my actual cable to my power supply of my computer and I ran it I tucked it right here and that is the best I could do uh, without getting a longer power supply cable right now so uh, I just kind of, you know, got it wire tied to the table. Uh, it's in the raceway back there, right, right from the bottom of the um, the computer, and uh, it's running to the wall. And that's just because that's where my uh, the wall power supply was. Um, if I was able to run another um, power strip, maybe back down below here, and then tuck it underneath there, I could uh, I could fix that. But for right now, that's kind of what I had to do. So. I just wanted to be transparent with you guys and let you guys know that. It's kind of funny. So, you know, if in my videos you see that, that's that's just why that happened. But, you know, maybe we can fix that in a later video or something like that. But right now, it doesn't really get in the way too much. So, not a big deal. So, 
let me guys let, let me know what you guys think about the setup um i think it looks a lot better i think it looks super super clean i'm really really stoked to start using it um i love that i have all this extra space over here to just dump my gear when i'm done shooting uh charge all my stuff up and then over here it's really clean nice little space for me to just sit down get my work done play games whatever um and then i didn't even mention yeah underneath here that's like, those are boxes like for work I gotta do, stuff I gotta shoot and all that kind of stuff, like product, and I can just shoot it right up here. I can take my little light right here, turn it this way, uh, face it towards my stuff to get a nice little, uh, you know, hue of a light on it. Uh, I take my LED lights and just cast it on top of here. I can even hook them to these little guys right here and actually drop a light right on top of it, which is something I really like to do when I shoot product. Um, so this setup is really awesome. I got my, you know, my Amazon, you know who, right over here. Uh, the Ikea plant, like I said super essential um but yeah i think it looks awesome Th this little arm that was only like 30 40 bucks super awesome holds both my monitors i think it looks really really clean um oh yeah i didn't even show you back here let's let's take a look at this real quick so that's what it looks like behind the actual setup with all the cable management that i did i take you through here so this little arm all these arms they have little hooks right here that come with it and you're able to actually hang all your cables off the hooks of the cable management arms. So again, really cool stuff. Didn't even know that it came with that, but it made cable management a lot easier. So that's really cool. So then this is actually the, uh, the charger to my wireless headset. So it just stays back there. And uh, I just hang my headphones back here now because I used to hang them off the back of this monitor right here because the stand had that little hook on it. So now I may end up just getting a, uh, an actual monitor stand to go on my desk. So that may just be uh, you know, a later um, little addition that I put on the desk and everything like that. So, But for right now, this is the guy. This is it right here. I love it. I think it looks really clean. Uh, let, me guys, let me know what you guys think of this setup, uh, what you guys would change, what you would do different, or if you guys have any suggestions for me. Um, yeah, and then if you leave me some comments down below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like the video if this helped you out or if any of these products are something you guys are going to use. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more stuff like this in a future video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.